Hello Aries and welcome to my channel. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this will be from now until the end of the month um, coming into the first week of May. So let's get started. Spirit and Angels, what messages do you have from now until the beginning of May for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Goodness, Aries. Your bottom of the deck is the sun, though. Um, being enlightened. Things are coming to the surface that um, you did not know about, and you are finding out about them. You were holding off making a decision about someone, something in your life, and uh, you are now ready to make that choice. Clarifier here. Why is the two swords here? Yeah, you had a decision about um, love here, Aries. You had to choose between two people's offers. Um, and you were holding off making a choice. You couldn't decide, but things are coming to light. And um, it is allowing you to make a decision. Um, by coming out of this and making this decision, you're going to be able to complete a chapter in your life. You are leaving one person for another is what I'm getting because the Nine of Pentacles is in reverse. So you're not becoming single. You have the choice between two love offers. One of them you're leaving, which is allowing you to complete a cycle in your life and you are moving toward an earth sign. Um, Somebody is wanting to provide for you to build a solid foundation with you, and that is who you are choosing between the, could be a Gemini, but um, it also could be a water sign or an air sign that you're choosing between, but you're going with the earth sign I'm seeing, and it doesn't have to be that sign, it's just those energies. So... Um, your bottom of the deck of the clarifying was the star in reverse. So spirit is guiding you in what direction to take and what person to choose. Um, coming into the last week of April, uh, there was a third party in the past, and that's why you're leaving the person up here. You're allowing this chapter to close because there was third parties, and you just feel like at any given moment with this person, things could erupt. Um, a fight could break out, an argument, and you're tired of walking on eggshells. You're tired of um, constantly battling with this person. Um, yeah, this is your energy. You just, you don't know how to, uh, you don't know how to fix this. So you're just going to choose to walk away, which is the right thing to do for those of you this is resonating with because um, you're so um, caught up in this relationship and trying to figure out what to do to fix it that you're missing a blessing. You're missing a gift from the universe. You're watching it go by because you're too busy arguing with this person. Um, yeah. You have the Ten of Swords as well, bringing up the end of the month. So you're feeling very betrayed, very, um, very heartbroken, very... Somebody is like running your name in the mud too, Aries. They are there are psychic attacks going on. Somebody is making it look like it's all your fault. But you have the uh, Knight of Wands here, which I just love because it's rising up from the ashes. Let it burn to the ground. Let that relationship go. Let it all come crashing down till it's just left to ashes. And then you're gonna rise up, Aries. You're gonna rise up like the Phoenix. Coming into the first week of May, you have the death card. So you are allowing this to complete. You are letting go of everything that no longer serves you because you are tired of feeling like it's you against the world. You feel like you're constantly defending yourself. Um, you feel like there's no victory here. So you're ready to walk away. Um, you're going to cut off communication with this person. You, um, You're just completely separating from the whole thing and yeah 
and you're letting spirit guide you. You're letting things come to light. You are um, acknowledging things that have happened in the past that you've been denying as far as um, not wanting to know. You just kind of feel like if I ignore it, it won't. It didn't happen. But you're you're stopping that now, and you're going to end up cutting off communication with this person, and you are going to lay this burden down. Um, you are going to let this relationship go because you're tired. You have the nine of wands here. You are extremely tired. You're tired of fighting. You're wounded. You're scarred. And you've been picking up all these sticks along the way, and you are just ready to lay them all down. You're tired. I just keep hearing you're tired. So you guys are getting out of a... Um, out of a cycle in your life that has has really, really exhausted you. Let's see what Spirit's advice for you is for the next two weeks. This is the third time I'm doing your guys' reading, so I really hope this uploads this time. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. So yeah, Spirit's advice is... Yeah, your bottom of the deck is a five of pentacles. So you're being spiritually reborn. You are um, you are reestablishing your spiritual center. Uh, Spirit's advice for this week is to uh, allow yourself to get out of your head and make that choice. Um, there's no reason to spend any more time mulling over it because you know what you have to do. And you're letting this relationship come to an end. Some of you could be filing for divorce. Some of you... Um, are splitting or moving out from each other and spirit saying that's that's what's best right now you need to um, heal by yourself to be reborn and the coming into the first week of May um, spirits advice is to to let loose a little bit to you've got a wall built up around you because this past relationship and he's encouraging you to to let um, let spirit in to let healing in to let your emotions out um, don't hold back when it comes to telling this person how you honestly feel because they need to hurt hear how you were hurt they need to hear what they did to you as part of your healing and um, yeah and that's really going to help you move on and allow yourself to break free from this uh, communication from this relationship and it's going to really allow yourself to not feel like you're walking on eggshells or you're just ready to explode. Um, some of you are kind of edgy and like um, kind of uh, short tempered with like children and stuff because you're just so stressed out. And Spirit's saying it's time to get out of that. Let this person know what they did and then let it go. And, um, and you'll find success and healing. So that's what I have for you guys, Aries. Like I said, I hope this one uploads. I uploaded it the first time and it took forever then it timed out. I went to upload it a second time and the video was not on my memory card. So I'm saying third time's a charm. So Aries, I hope you guys have a beautiful next couple weeks. Um, I will be releasing channeled messages here as well. So be watching for those. I want to thank you as always for your support of my channel, your likes, comments, subscribes. Um, if it weren't for you guys, I would not be here. So. I'm sending you love, light, and may God bless you on your journey.